this is Mara Elaine on the Buy and Space channel. I'm continuing uh, reading from the Torah. As you can see, the Hebrew is on this side. The English, translated directly from the Hebrew, is on this side. Uh, the pages turn this way, and you read Hebrew from right to left. So, I don't read Hebrew. I don't know Hebrew. I've learned some Hebrew words. I don't really retain them um, because I'm just not in the age group that retains language that well. And uh, But my last reading was in chapter 35, and I ended on uh, verse 14. I'll just resume from there. And Jacob set up a pillar at the place where he had spoken with him, the pillar of stone. He poured a drink offering thereon and poured all thereupon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God had spoken with him Beth El. And they journeyed from Beth El and there yet some distance to come to Ephrath. When Rachel traveled and she had hard labor, and it came to pass that when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, for this child also is a son for them, for thee. And it came to pass, as her soul was departing, for she died, that she called his name, Ben Oni, but his father called him Benjamin, and Rachel died and was buried on the way to Etherath, which is Beth Lechem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave. This is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyed and pitched his tent beyond Miguel. Eder. And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in that land that Redben, Reuben went and lay with Belial, his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of Leah, Jacob's firstborn, Reuben and Simon and Levi and Judah and Eshabar and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel's Joseph and Benjamin and the sons of Bilal, Rachel's handmaiden, Dan and Natali. And the sons of Zilphoth, Leah's handmaiden, Gad and Asher. These were sons of Jacob that were born to him in Panaram. And Jacob came to Isaac his father unto Mabre, the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abram and Isaac had sojourned. The days of Isaac were 180 years, and Isaac expired and died and was gathered unto his people, and old and full of days, and Esau and Jacob his sons buried him. Wow, I bet that was quite the funeral with Esau and Jacob there together burying their father. And that concludes chapter 35. And we saw in this chapter the death of a lady named Deborah. And I want to point this out because Bethel means house of God. So in a way, Deborah, who was the handmaiden for Rebecca, she nursed Rebecca, was really the first person that was buried in a church graveyard. Even though there wasn't a church or synagogue there. There might be the to this day. They may have built one later. But um, it was like being buried on holy ground. 
and to my knowledge, in the Israeli tradition, this is the first time someone was buried on holy ground. And it was the nurse of Rebecca named Deborah. And uh, she made her mark in history. And I don't, uh, I'm not quite sure um, how rabbis look upon this or teach this or if the place of her grave is known um, beyond the description in the Torah. I would be interested to find that out. So if you're uh, Jewish and listening, please put it in the comments because I'd really, really like to know. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.